Alright guys, so today I'm going to show you how to do something amazing with .piano.com. Now for those of you who don't know, .piano.com is something that lets you play MIDI files. Not MIDI files, sorry. I, my script lets you play MIDI files. Um, but .piano.com lets you play MIDI online. So like for my piano, I could play uh, Meg Lavinia. If I wanted, I could play any song. Say so you want to change this song you want to make it look like you're playing something amazing or you just want to play a song through it well that's what my script does and i'm here to show you how to do that it's parts of the caribbean and it changes a whole bunch of shit here and gives me a watermark that you just can't remove so enjoy that but this is what i'm going to show you how to do in today's video All right, so let's get right into it. So first off, you need to go to my repository, which is in the link below. So go to my repository, click on V3, and download script.js. Now I already have my script.js downloaded and opened right here. Now this is actually a customized script.js, so I'm gonna go ahead and change it back to what you guys would have it as, uh, and you just have put file URL here. Or actually, I think it comes with a customized, not, not sorry, not customized, I think it comes with an example song. So if you want to run the example song, you can, but we're not going to be running that example song, so you find out how to do that yourself. Um, we're going to be running a custom song that you customize yourself. You can pick any MIDI you want with any song. So, in the repository, there's a whole file named readme.md, which is marked down. Um, you don't need to read through all of this. I'll quickly go through it here. Once you download it, open it up in Viscode or a text editor. You don't need to have Viscode. You can open it up in Notepad if you wanted to or Notepad++. And uh, all you need to really look at is just this right here. This is the from line 1 to 14 or I guess 13, whatever you want to say, is the only lines you need to care, uh, care about in this script. You don't need to worry about any of these. These have already all been customized. Now, here in file URL, we'll get to this later, but this is basically uh, the MIDI file it plays from an online uh, storage API. Uh, and then we have tempo, and tempo is basically the speed of the file, or MIDI, I should say, not file, my bad. So 60 is base 120 BPM. Anything above 60 is above 120 BPM, and anything below 60 is below 120 BPM. So 60 is default to 120 BPM. Uh, now, well, MIDI track, uh, this doesn't really matter. Usually you want this set to 1, but for advanced users who for some reason put their MIDIs on tracks 2, um, you can change it to track 2, and it will play the MIDI that is on track 2. But for us, our MIDI is going to be on track 1. Now, that's basically all you need to worry about in the config file, and let's get to how to get the MIDI file into your project, because now that's really the only thing we got to worry about. So, how do you do that? Well, let's go ahead and just do a quick jog through the readme file. So we've already gone through all of this. Now this is where things get a bit tricky, which I actually state right here. All right, now here's how you upload files to uh, my server. Now things would get tricky because you need to find a file server with cores enabled. Cores is cross-origin policy, um, and it allows a server to connect with another server that's a website. Um, so it's basically useful for storage APIs, um, and I have a storage API, believe it or not. Well, not really an API, but it, it's a site that you can use for storage of files that you need to access from a website. In case you don't want to store them on your website, you can access them from mine. So, go ahead and click on that link. I should have opened that in a new tab. I'm a silly man. Open that in a new tab. Now, before I get into anything on this website, we got to get our MIDI files set up. So, let's get a MIDI file. So, let's go to bit MIDI. And if you just search up bitmidi or go to bitmidi.com, link in the description if you're too lazy to type it in, um, there'll be a ton of MIDI files here. So let's say we want to play We Channel, the Me Channel. I believe it's this, the dun 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 dun, or whatever it is. Yep. So let's say we wanted to play this song. We will download it, and there we go. Now before we do anything else, we need to go open Soundtrap. This is very important, all right? This is amazingly important. This is where you can basically edit your MIDI files. Now, I'm not going to drag and drop mine in yet because when you go to this website, you'll be needing to log in. So quickly make an account with Google. Once you've done that, go ahead and get the free trial and just link it to your PayPal and then unlink it from your PayPal afterwards. Pretty simple. Now you got the free trial that lasts a month. So go into the studio on your account, drag and drop the MIDI file we have here into it. And there we go. And as we can already see, it is a one 
one track MIDI. So for MIDIs that aren't one track, you need to convert them to one track. One track means where there's not a new track here. It's just a single track that has a file on it. If there's another track, it won't play that track. It will only play this track unless you set it to play that track. So very important that you, you combine these MIDI files. And I'll show you how to do it with a simple Pirates of the Caribbean one, which is the one I showed you at the beginning of this video. But as you see, dun dun dun, we already have this all set up. So we go to File, Export, Export MIDI Tracks to File, and we save that. Now we have it saved. Go ahead and delete this track here. And let's say you want to play, well, I have to show you this one as an example. So you want to play Pirates of the Caribbean 2. All right, so download this one. Make sure it's 3 as well, because if it's not 3, it may be something different, like completely different. And go put it into, if it wouldn't open, go put it into your Soundtrap Studio again. This time, it will come up with right hand and left hand. So this is where things get pretty complicated, especially when you get to more tracks and you need to combine them all. Um, I haven't found a service that does this for you yet. I'm sure there is one out there, I just haven't found it. But you need to combine them together. So how we do this is we select the left hand, make sure the left hand side is purple. Um, go to piano roll instead of instrument, piano roll. And then click this little uh, button with a plus on it and a magnifying glass. And go all the way in. And go out until you can see where your little pinhead is. Now on the pinhead, go ahead and put it right at the beginning of the note. And then do control to A. Okay, in here, do control to A. God damn it. You had, you make sure you're still on the selected track. I was on this track right here. I wasn't on the right fucking track. I don't know why I wasn't. But go control to A, control to A, and then go control to C. Go to here, go to piano roll, and do control to V. And that completely pastes, copy and pastes the notes from left hand into right hand. So now, basically, they're all in one single file. <laughs> And as you see, we only need one track, we don't need two. And that is how you convert a one track MIDI, or one track MIDI, a two track MIDI to a one track MIDI. And it goes etc for basically everything else. You just do that, except it takes a much, much more longer time. So I've already showed you this one. I'm not gonna play this one, obviously, because you saw it at the beginning of the video. <laughs> now, after we have our one track MIDIs downloaded, I just downloaded the Super Mario 64 one here. Uh, and uh, let's go ahead and just make sure that the Super Mario 64 is one track, again, by putting it into here. And yes, it is a one track MIDI, so we don't even need to convert it because it already is one track. Uh, the Wii Channel one I did convert stupidly. You don't need to do that. You could have just kept the original MIDI if you wanted to. All right, now on TDCN, go to Account Creations Login, and then all you need to do is just click the single button here, and it will create an instant one click account for you. Now, notice this account will be deleted in 48 hours now. Um, and if you turn on 2FA, which is right here, it will stop it. Now I already have an account, so I'm actually going to let the server delete this file, or delete this file, uh, delete this account because I don't need it. Um, but yeah, so this is where your media will be shown after you've uploaded media, which I haven't yet. So let's go do that. So now that we're logged in, we can upload files to the website. So let's do that now. So we want to upload our me channel. So drag and drop that there and press submit. It's going to go ahead and send it to the server, and we have our link. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up a notepad here, and just simply as ever kind of store them in a notepad, so one. All right, and then again, if you want to ever view that file after you're off the page in which it shows you, it will be right here at the bottom. Now, go ahead, go back here, and upload Super Mario 64, or whatever MIDI you have that you know is one track. Because again, if it's more than one track, it will only play track one. Go ahead and copy that link, and put it in here. So now you have two MIDI links to try, and as you see, each and every one of them has the directory to the file in it. I can't really worry about that right now. So now we need to open uh, .piano.com, which I did have open previously, but I closed it. So go to the About, and go to... Uh, on github go to the about and go click on .piano.com now if you don't want to just type in .piano.com in your browser and it will direct you straight to here go to the listen tab and a random song's gonna come on wow how beautiful it makes me cry uh, pause that song very important you pause it because if you don't shit will go down then open up your script file whether it be in the text editor notepad or whatever and edit the file url so we have two files to choose from Let's say, which one do we want to play? I'm not sure which one's which, so... Fuck it, let's play, let's play this one. Whatever this one is. So copy the link 
to that file into the file URL in the in the script.js. So you, whatever link you get after you upload or whatever link, okay, that's not the website I want to go to. Whatever link you get after you upload, right click and just copy link address and paste that link back, I open my Discord, back into the file URL right there. Very important you do that because if you don't, it will not play a single MIDI and it will probably output an error. So don't want to do that. Now we have our MIDI uh, URL inserted into the script and the script will actually be able to access it. So what you're going to do is Control A and then do Control C. And then we're going to go ahead and close this page. It's not really needed to us and close BitMIDI. Go ahead and press F12 in your browser on .piano.com. Make sure you're on .piano. Go ahead and control to V into the console. So the console is right beside the elements tab up here. Just click it and then paste your code into it. Uh, and then just press enter. And in a couple seconds, you'll see our MIDI come to life. Now, obviously, it's going way too slow. So how do we fix this? Well, I told you, we have the tempo setting. So I'd say roughly maybe 80 tempo will fix that. So go ahead, pause the song, paste the script back into the console. Yes, you can consistently paste the script. Eventually, it, it won't work. You'll say something like file URLs already defined, and then you have to re reload the site. But until that happens, you're allowed to just completely uh, keep uh, loading in new MIDIs into the website through the script. So let's see if this works. It is definitely faster, not fast enough. I'm thinking maybe a hundred actually, and I've never gone a hundred tempo, so let's see how fast that is. Let's go, pause it. And uh, this is why I had it in, because previously tempo would either be way too fast or way too slow. Um, oh no. Okay. Uh, but I added it in so people can change the tempo of songs to make it what they need it to be. Dun, 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 dun. I'd say maybe a bit faster. Oh, well, no, let's, let's see. I'd say this is perfect. All right, so yes, this is basically how you import custom MIDIs into Dot Piano. I'm very sorry if this tutorial did not help you at all in any way with what you're doing. Uh, now, something I'm about to say may help you. All right, so thank you guys for watching this far into the video. And since you watched this far into the video and you may actually be using this script, I decided to show you a sneak peek of a little project I'm working on. So this is a real dot piano link. If you want to watch this song or listen to it, the link's right there. I'm not putting the link in the description. It won't be there in the description. But it's this amazing song, and it's actually on dot piano, and it's playing on dot piano. Now watch this. I have a script that downloads that song, and I've just put it into Soundtrap. I'm not going to show you how I've done this, because that will completely ruin the website I'm working on to download these files. But I will show you a couple of the console log things it does. It even shows you all the information for the MIDI file, and I think that's pretty amazing. So I wanted to end that video off here. Thank you all for watching, and look forward to this little website that I'll be putting up very soon with a completely custom domain. Um, look forward to it, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.